It is a great honor and a huge privilege for me to be performing the dual duty of, on the one hand, presenting the very prestigious Easel Recognition Award to the late Professor Williams, and on the other hand, participating in his eulogy. Professor Williams has been a towering figure in hepatology for the past 60 years or so, consistently. His work over this period has truly been of a seminal nature and he has influenced almost every sphere of hepatology. It is amazing that within four years of his appointment, he had built a partnership with Professor Roy Kahn to perform the first liver transplantation this side of the Atlantic back in 1968. He led on almost all aspects of acute liver failure from definition to classification, prognosis, pathophysiology, and treatment and built the concept of the first liver intensive care unit. He was publishing more than one paper a week for about 10 years or so. Following his early training, the bulk of his life's work was distributed into three eras, starting at King's, then at UCL, and then back again at King's. It is now my pleasure to introduce to you Professor Michael Heenehan to give you a brief glimpse of his life from the time he was at King's. August 1966 marked the arrival of Dr. Roger Williams to King's College Hospital. In the beginning, there was no desk or office, but he soon established his presence. Motivated by the absolute desire to save lives, he became the true founding father of transplant hepatology. At King's, he created a true powerhouse of clinical care and translational research, attracting patients and trainees from around the world. Over subsequent decades, he would go on to apply the model of bench to bedside and back, asking simple clinical questions and answering them through rigorous study, clinical trials, and innovative thinking. Supported by a growing research infrastructure, he believed in the complete integration of services with the formation of the Institute of Liver Studies. This combined liver medicine, surgery, transplantation, critical care, pathology, and academic laboratories, a model now replicated worldwide. Benjamin Disraeli said that the legacy of heroes is the memory of a great name and the inheritance of a great example. To me, this was Professor Roger Williams, a hero and an example to follow. You know, most people retire at 65, but not Professor Williams. When he finished at King's, he moved to UCL to start setting up the Institute of Hepatology. It was from 2000 to 2011 that I spent time working with Professor Williams. And this was probably the most creative time that I've ever had. We described the existence of acute on chronic liver failure, a new syndrome, which was fraught with difficulty in the years to come. We discovered ornithine phenylastate, which is a novel therapy for hepatic encephalopathy, and I'm happy to say this is entering phase three clinical trials. He was always very passionate about liver support, having performed the first controlled clinical trials of charcoal and ELAD in acute liver failure. He was absolutely delighted to see the first completed study of Dialive, a novel liver, liver support device we discovered at UCL. It is a great pleasure for me to introduce you now to Dr. Shilpa Choksi, who is the chief scientist at the new institute, who will say a few words. Sitting here in Professor Williams' beautiful office at his family home at Brickworth in Southampton, I can confidently say that one of the greatest legacies Professor Williams leaves behind is that he championed a generation of excellence in liver scientists and hepatologists globally. I was very fortunate to start my career 28 years ago uh, in Professor Williams' unit at King's College London. And one of the many gifts that he gave to me was believing in me when I didn't myself. And that was really a defining feature of Professor Williams. He was always forward-looking and always willing to take a risk on things that he believed in, with his eyes most firmly set on the future, 
to make the major advances in hepatology that we all know that he was responsible for. I will miss his sharp intellect, his unflagging energy, and his continuous determination to get the job done. Together with that famous smile and that mischievous blue twinkle in his eyes. It is my privilege and honour to say on behalf of all of the staff of the Institute of Hepatology and the trustees of the Foundation for Liver Research that we are going to dedicate and commit ourselves to continuing the legacy laid down so firmly by Professor Williams. He will be missed very much. Professor Williams' impact is truly global and it is a pleasure to ask Professor William Lee to say a few words. I'm honored to have this opportunity to reflect on Roger Williams' incredible career and its impact on hepatology outside of Europe and the UK. I first came to King's in 1973 as one of the first, but not the very first, North American fellows. The unit at the time had more than 30 fellows from all over the world and it was the most vibrant research unit I could ever imagine. Professor Williams' energy, enthusiasm for liver disease, and his work ethic were legendary. He always enjoyed work and play tremendously, and that rubbed off on all of us. Roger collected awards and honors like a magnet, but when he received the Distinguished Achievement Award in 2013 from the American Association for the Study of Liver Disease, I think he was truly moved. He always had a strong association with North America. In presenting the award to Roger, I dubbed him, quote, the world's first transplant hepatologist, and indeed he was. This was in recognition of his close work with the Cambridge transplant team and Sir Roy Kahn. Indeed, he was the first clinician to advocate and care for liver transplant patients. In some, the most important attribute we all recall was the sheer joy and excitement Roger imparted to us about caring for liver patients and the search for new knowledge. Now I want to request Professor Vicente Arroyo, who has led the field in cirrhosis research and is a current director of the European Foundation for the Study of Chronic Liver Failure to say a few words. Roger, together with other European hepatologists, formed an incredible group that created a new discipline for nothing or near nothing. Roger teach me on clinical research. However, I learned many other things. I learned to be happy with the work, honest with the co-workers, and generous and collaborative with the competitors. Roger Williams was great, not only for the high amount of knowledge he produced, but mainly by the hundreds or even thousands of clinical investigators who are improving the life of liver patients around the world. I will be always very proud to have been touched by Roger Williams. Finally, to Roger the man, his love was sailing and he was really proud to have been awarded the Satanita Trophy which was presented to the best performing boat in the members' regatta of the Royal Yacht Squadron. He lived with his wife, Stephanie, and has seven surviving children. Roger was not all work. He enjoyed having fun. As is shown in this video that was recorded last year, he is beating the bad liver. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 Professor Williams was extremely proud of receiving the Easel Award as he was recovering from his illness while still in his hospital bed. He recorded this acceptance speech. I think it is appropriate here today he gets to have the last word. The, the, the Distinguished Service Award is a great honor to have and I, and I am deeply appreciative of the governing board of ESOL and selecting me for it this year and selecting me uh, for the award this year. Thank you again, ESOL, for bringing hepatology to
to the forefront of medical and surgical, forefront of specialties. Hope I'll be able to, to and I hope, I'm hoping to, hope I'll be able to continue to serve all its efforts, at least for a little longer.